Former Secretary General of the Commonwealth, Sir Sridhar Ramphal, has called on for the court to follow the Constitution in making its judgment on the current political situation. In a statement to the media, Sir Sridhar said by so doing, it will allow all parties and the people of Guyana to move forward lawfully and in fulfillment of their solemn pledge to each other. He noted that in each of the three constitutions, 1966, 1970, and 1980, the first article made the same declaration, and I quote, Guyana shall be a sovereign democratic state, of quote. The 1980 constitution, which was part of the project for modernization of the justice administration system, which prevails today, declares, and I quote, we, the Guyanese people, proud heirs of the indomitable will of our forebears, in a spirit of reconciliation and cooperation, proclaim this constitution in order to forge a system of governance that promotes concerted effort and broad-based participation in national decision-making in order to develop a viable economy and a harmonious community based on democratic values, social justice, fundamental human rights, and the rule of law. Of quote. Moreover, he reflected on comments made by Dominic Gaskin, a former business minister, an AFC executive, and the son-in-law of President David Granger. Gaskin called for a recount of the votes, expressing that the numbers declared by returning officer Claremont Mingo are not accurate. According to Sir Sridhar, and I quote, I applaud the trust of former minister Dominic Gaskin's sentiments and advice published on March 20, 2020. I thank all gods that there is a younger generation like him still. They can save Guyana. Off quote. He further noted that, and I quote, As the country this week chooses a path that will lead to either a good Guyana, led by credo of values and principles, or a failed state that has abandoned them, Gaskin's statements prompts me to remind Guyanese that at the moment of independence, we collectively pledge to each other what we would be. Off quote. Reporting for the Evening News, I am Leo Hernandez.